Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be a tag video. It is really, really popular here on YouTube. It's one that was created by Jaclyn Hill and she called it the fall favorites tag. I agree 100% with what Jaclyn said in her video. I simply love filming tag videos because I truly do feel like it kind of just takes you away from your busy life and the stress and everything that we deal with on a daily basis and tag videos are just they're not complicated they're not stressful they're kind of like a little escape from your busy everyday life so once I saw that this tag video came out I knew I absolutely had to do it fall time is definitely one of my most favorite times of the year. I know a lot of people that do this tag live in California or in Florida where they don't really get the full real feeling of fall. Over here, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes fall in New York can actually feel like winter. <laughs> but other than that, it's just a really beautiful time of the year. I love to see the leaves change different colors. I love that it's kind of brisk in the air. I love Halloween and then I feel like this is holiday season. We have Halloween, after that we have Thanksgiving, then we have Christmas, and then of course we have New Year's and I just feel like it's a very like heartwarming time of the year. So I love fall time, I love winter time, and this tag was absolutely something that I wanted to do. So I got my drink. Where's my drink? my drink right over here and I'm ready to get started. Mm. I am so not a Starbucks girl. I love my homemade tea. Sippy sippy. <sighs> For those of you that watch Graveyard Girl. All right, Lego. You know what? Let me turn off this auto lock because that is about to get annoying real quick. Question number one, what is your favorite candle? I guess your favorite fall candle. Now, all right, here's the thing. I am not one of those girls that are obsessed with the Bath and Body Works candles. I'm not gonna lie, I do like candles once every here and there because I do feel like the warmth and the ambiance and the look that a candle gives off is definitely very beautiful. So with that being said, I would have to say my favorite one, and this sounds so cliche, I just said I'm not obsessed with Bath and Body Works candles, but my number one favorite candle does happen to be from Bath and Body Works, and this is Mahogany Teakwood. It's a very popular candle. I had a really hard time deciding between this one and another candle that they have called Leaves, which doesn't really smell like leaves at all. It, it smells like straight up apples and cinnamon to me. But anyway, this is the one that I picked as my number one, and this smells exactly like a man's cologne. It has a very warm, a kind of like Abercrombie and Fitch cologne. It's, it's a very sexy scent and I find that I do like to light this up at nighttime. It fills up the entire room and it's just such a very warm, comforting scent. With that being said, I actually prefer oil warmers and I have said this a bunch of times on my channel. I am one of those people that when you step into my house, I want you to smell the entire house smelling delicious. And that kind of goes a little bit out the window during the summertime and during the warmer months, but definitely during the fall and winter time, I like my house to smell straight up, kind of like when you pass Bath and Body Works in the mall. You know how you just get a whiff that it smells delicious and it just wants to pull you right in? I like my house to smell overwhelmingly delicious during the colder weather months. But for some reason, I can't ever achieve that with candles. Even if I light a Bath and Body Works candle in every single room, I don't feel like I get a really strong, beautiful scent throughout the entire house. So I do get that with oil warmers. I always wanna say oil burners, but I believe the correct terminology is oil warmers. And I actually did have a subscriber, I'm gonna link her video down below because she actually does videos as well. I believe her channel name is Minnie Mishi. She's the sweetest girl ever. I love you if you're watching, Mwah. Anyway. Wait, she sells Scentsy and they have some of my favorite, favorite scents ever. And they also do sell this, the actual burners or the warmers on that site. So one of my favorite scents is Dulce de Leche. And basically they look like little soap bars. Well, this one kind of looks like straight up little pieces of caramel. And that is exactly what it smells like. You basically just drop these into the oil warmer and I leave mine on all day long. I even leave them on all night long because they are a little bit safer than candles. Another one of my favorites is the Merry Christmas scent and I'm telling you guys, my entire house 
smells exquisite. I think I get a little bit too excited about scents. So let's go on to the next question, which is your favorite fall lip color. Now, I am gonna talk about the one that I am wearing in today's video, but before that, I'm gonna talk about my daily go-to lip color because you guys know that I don't really mess around with the bold lips a lot on video. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do wear them a lot in my everyday life, but I feel like on videos, for some reason, they just always end up on my teeth. It's no secret, I got some big ass teeth, <laughs> and it usually ends up on my teeth teeth and around my lips and I have to refilm so that's why I don't really wear a lot of bolder lips on video but what I do wear a lot on video is this combo that I swear to you guys I have been getting so many questions on and complaints a lot of people are like you don't switch up that color enough you wear it every single day I'm not gonna lie I love this color so much I don't want to wear anything else so I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what that combo is I like to wear boldly bare lip pencil by Mac which is a beautiful warm mid-tone nude then I like to take NYX soft matte lip cream in London and I put a layer of that I wait about two minutes for it to dry and then I put another layer of another NYX soft matte lip cream and this one is called Athens I'm telling you it gives the most beautiful warm I'm gonna say orangey undertone nude lip and I feel like it's perfect for fall. The other combo that I want to talk about today is the one that I'm wearing on my lips and I feel like it's a very simple, easy, go-to everyday lip color. So I like to use, a lot of people sleep on these, Lancome actually makes really good lip liners because they're very creamy. They kind of feel like a lipstick going on, believe it or not. So this one is called Le Lipstick. I hope I said that right. And it's in the shade Mauvel and it's really not a mauve color at all. It's a beautiful red deep wine shade. And then I like to put this lipstick over it, and this one is by Kat Von D. It's their studded kiss lipstick and this one is in the shade Motorhead and it's a gorgeous deep berry wine color and again that's what's on my lips today so the next question is your favorite fall drink I'm not going to be cliche in this video and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm not really big on Starbucks I know a lot of people are gonna say some Starbucks drinks I don't like the pumpkin spice latte at all I feel like I can make a better one so much better at home tell you guys like I should come out with a video I make a really good pumpkin spice latte at home if I was going to Starbucks and I had to order something during the fall time absolutely the chai tea latte it's not coffee it's a tea and that's definitely my answer for this question tea tea is my favorite fall during the drink what? My favorite fall during a drink time. My favorite drink during the fall time that is what I'm drinking today. And I'm not too fancy. A lot of you guys ask about the tea that I drink. I guess because I drop it here and there that I'm big on tea. I hardly ever drink coffee. Um, and I just buy the regular old fashioned Lipton tea. And what I like to do is then sweeten it up with a creamer. So sometimes I will use the vanilla one, sometimes hazelnut. Sometimes I get fancy and I get the cinnamon or the gingerbread flavor. And on those days when I don't use a creamer I just use regular old half and half and a couple of spoonfuls of sugar because I definitely need my tea sweetened I mean I once in a blue will have green tea with a little drop of honey but it's still on a sweet side all right my favorite fall blush I have a high-end version to show you guys and then a drugstore version so we are going to start with the drugstore one and this one is by Milani it's called their rose powder blush in the shade romantic rose how do I open this up Literally, you guys, it is the most gorgeous mid-tone mauve rosy color. I absolutely love it. And this is around $7. I picked mine up at CVS. And then my high-end pick comes out of this palette right here, which is by Hourglass. It's called their Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. And it is this blush right here, which is a gorgeous purpley color. And this is called Mood Exposure. Next is my favorite fall clothing items. And I said items because I definitely can't pick one. I had to narrow it down to three. So number one is gonna be plaid. You guys can see right here. I have so much plaid. I would say at least three times throughout any given week in fall, I'm wearing plaid. I, I love when it's an accent. I love when it's the focal point. I don't know what it is. I just feel like plaid is so warm and cozy and the epitome of fall. So that's gonna be number one, flannel and plaid. Second is what Jaclyn Hill herself actually said, and I was like, yes, girl, 100% right, leather. I love leather. I have two examples to show you guys right here. One is a leather jacket from Romwe, and it's kind of just in a blazer style, and I feel like it goes with absolutely everything, so you cannot go wrong with black leather. I am so sorry, black leather jacket, you gotta go on the floor for now. 
Another one is a much cheaper alternative. This is from Forever 21, and it is another leather jacket with a little bit of a fleece, wooly type of collar, and it's a gorgeous wine material. Oh my God, I love these so much. I can't really wear these more than, I would say, one month going into fall by the time we hit October here in New York. It's a little bit too cold to just wear a leather jacket, but I try to get as much wear out of these in the meantime. And number three is combat style booties. Mine are both from Just Fab. I just love combat style booties. I don't know what it is. I feel like they just, they make every single outfit look so complete. What I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing now. Ugh, just these little flats, like ballet slipper flats, also from Just Fab. But I feel like this just completes an outfit. This I am wearing here while I'm filming at home, but if I'm actually gonna leave the house, I feel just so much more put together with a cute little booty like that. I don't know. Next is your favorite fall movie and your favorite fall TV show. I'm not huge on TV, believe it or not, so this is a little bit hard for me to answer. So as far as my favorite fall movie, I am absolutely 100% a big kid still at heart and I don't like any scary type movies because I'm alone a lot of time at nighttime and it's just not a good mix but I really do love Halloween Town which I believe is on the Disney Channel um I love that movie I've watched it every single year around Halloween time so Halloween Town is definitely my go-to movie for during the fall time if you have not seen it definitely check it out and as far as my favorite fall TV shows I don't even know the like sitcoms that are coming out right now for the fall time. If you guys have any re recommendations um, for anything coming out that you think I might enjoy, definitely let me know. But I'm going to say, um, I believe on ABC Family, it's the 28 days of Halloween and it's all throughout October and they just play like Sabrina the Teenage Witch and a whole bunch of different shows that are Halloween themes or Halloween episodes of a whole bunch of different shows. So I'm gonna say, I hope that you guys know what I'm talking about, on ABC Family, the 28, or is it 31 days? I think it's the 28 days of Halloween. Two more questions, hang in there with me guys. Number one is gonna be my favorite, I forgot it already. Favorite Thanksgiving food, I am going to say the turkey. That is what I look forward to every, like all year long, the turkey, absolutely, with the mashed potatoes. And what we always have for dessert, me and my sister Mel make it. It's a chocolate turtle cheesecake, which is basically um, a cake, a cold pie that you make with chocolate pudding and um, cream cheese, like cheesecake. And oh my God, it's so good. Like caramel, chocolate, cheesecake, all mixed together with pecans. If you guys want me to come out with a video on it this year, definitely let me know because we make that every single year and it is on point. And my favorite Halloween costume that I have dressed up as. Um, I had a lot of fun. I believe it was, no, it was not last Halloween, but the Halloween before that, I did like a Halloween costume series here on my channel. And I believe I did um, Pocahontas, I did Peter Pan, I did Little Red Riding Hood, I did a Batman mask, and my favorite one, which was a leopard, and that is actually what I did end up wearing that year. It was really cool because I had the like bright yellow cat eye contacts and it got a lot of attention, so I definitely would say that would be my favorite for this year. I know that I dropped the ball last year and this year on the Halloween costumes. Um, it's just a lot of work for me, you guys. It's a lot of work to do the Halloween costumes and you need to plan ahead of time and for me I'm really more into like the Halloween crafts the cooking but if you guys want me to do a video on like last minute Halloween costumes using things that you might already have in your own house I can definitely put a video together for you guys like that this year and that is the entire tag I tag all of my subscribers if any of you guys are interested in doing this tag definitely do it film it and then leave me a comment down below so I can go and check it out because I love getting to know you guys even better thank you guys all so much for being so so literally beyond amazing and thank you for watching this video I'll see you guys all soon Mwah. bye